Hey, Design and Draw, welcome back. Okay, so this is going to count as your final product. Okay, this is your last big project that will take us through the end of the year. And basically, instead of having one big final product, you're gonna have a little weekly challenge every week, something just to get you drawing, something to get you still being creative. Um, and just by participating in those drawings every single week, I will put that all together and that will count as your final grade, okay? Unfortunately, I don't have supplies and things to send home to you to have you create this big final, final project, but I think this is gonna be fun. I think it's still gonna get you drawing and um, should count the same as far as your grade goes. So here it is, Design and Draw Weekly Art Challenge. You will submit this by, instead of submitting a big final product, you will submit um, each checkpoint will count towards that final product, and each checkpoint counts for um, a weekly challenge, okay? So first question, a big question, is what about supplies? Um, I am very aware that everyone has very different situations at home, therefore many of you probably do not have traditional art supplies. Now if you do happen to have your sketchbook or any kind of um, paper, pencil, colored pencils, markers, paints, canvas, anything like that, awesome. This is your chance to use it, have fun with it. However, if you don't have those traditional supplies, you can use whatever you have. Hopefully everyone has at least a notepad of some kind, right? Or um, I've had people do drawings on like paper cups and, um, you can complete some of these outside with sidewalk chalk as long as you spend time and make it look good. It shouldn't look like my little kid did it, but you can do sidewalk chalk. You can do um, drawing on your computer. So if you are familiar with any of the drawing options on your computer, you can draw via Photoshop or there's lots of online options. Um, even just paint as long as you take your time with it. There are so many different ways that you can create something um, without having to have those traditional supplies. So if you're stuck, if you're like, oh, I just don't have anything, um, keep looking, be creative with this, and you can always email me and I'll give you suggestions and we can figure it out together, okay? So first thing, use whatever you have. Next, what are the challenges? So each week you're gonna get either a different theme to be able to create a drawing from or some kind of task. Some of the tasks might be like, draw something in particular without ever picking up your pencil or draw something for certain amounts of time, like time yourself while you draw, whatever. Um, this week we're gonna start simple, we're just gonna do a theme, so you'll see that. Um, but either way, you should be drawing about an hour for each of these, okay? Um, some of you might go quicker, some of you guys might take a little bit longer, especially if you get into this, that's awesome. Um, but about an hour, it's making up for an entire week's worth of class, um, but an hour is a pretty decent amount of time to spend on one drawing. So make sure you're doing that. How will you submit it? As I said, so this is now a unit in, um, summit so i replaced the what would have been our traditional final unit with weekly art challenges and then each week i will add another checkpoint with that theme and you will just open that up just like we've done in the past it's a blank document so you're just gonna snip or copy paste an image of what you created in there and then just submit it you don't have to write anything for this at the very 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 end your last week, you're just gonna complete a self-reflection, which is just like a self-critique like we usually do. Um, but it's gonna ask about like how you drew at home and your challenges and just things that we've learned from the class in general, okay? So otherwise, all of these different checkpoints count as your main project grade. And I would like them turned in every week um, by Friday afternoon so that you can stay on top of it. You're not trying to do these at the end. That would be a lot um, because you will end up having four or five of these by the time we're totally done. Okay, so here is this week's challenge. Um, so it's all about nature. 
And it's actually really nice outside this week, which is why I wanted to go ahead and do this first. There are so many options for what you can draw. You can um, start small. You can draw, like, like, lately I've been really into drawing, like, insects and things like that. And so you can research that and draw details like you see here. Um, let's look at some examples closer up. You can go outside and just draw what you see outside. Um, landscapes, plants, the sky, clouds. Um, you can, yeah, here's like just another landscape. You can draw like different times of day. So if you know you're not gonna be able to spend like an hour at any point, you could go outside or um, look at something at different points. Um, maybe the sunset would be a great time to go. You can play with different supplies, look at different books for inspiration. If you have anything like that or look online. Um, you can look at animals. Any animals are fair game for this as well. Florals, here's some insects, which is probably what I'll end up doing. Um, sketching them, having fun with them, collaging them together. Um, yeah, so the sky's the limit for this. So I just want you to think about what you want to draw for nature, create something, spend some time drawing something of some kind and then snip that and submit it onto Summit. And I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Have an awesome week.